Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. The President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Head of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's national adult volleyball team, qualifying for the World Cup Championship to be held in Mexico. His Highness Sheikh Nasser attributed such an achievement to the attention and care paid by the kingdom's leadership to the sport and youth movement in the kingdom. He said the volleyball team qualifying for the World Cup final is a historic achievement after competing with a number of Asian countries' national teams. His Highness also congratulated the players and the administrative team for their efforts, which led to qualifying and projecting a good image of volleyball in Bahrain, adding the, that he considered this result and achievement to be added to Bahrain's sports movement. Sheikh Nasser said the Bahrain Olympic Committee would provide all the needed resources in order to better prepare the national team for the upcoming World Championship. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Head of Bahrain's Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, announced the launch of the His Majesty King Hamid Award for International Scientific Innovation. This comes in recognition of His Majesty the King's support of innovation and encouraging innovators to continue their work towards serving humanity. His Highness highlighted that His Majesty the King is a great supporter of science and innovation movement on a global level, and that this support is demonstrated through his wise directive to sponsor the British International Innovators Show. His Highness also highlighted the award for innovation in the first of its kind in the terms of noble goals and directives. The award, which will be made of pure gold, will provide innovators with an opportunity to continue their work and offer an opportunity for international institutions to gather at an event that will display and support their innovations. The announcement came as His Highness Sheikh Nasser was hosting the winners, was honouring rather, the winners of the British International Show for Innovators held in London with the participation of 170 innovators worldwide. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners, underscoring the importance of their work. His Highness also affirmed His Majesty the King's support and follow-up for all activities of the exhibition, which reflect His Majesty's attention and care for innovation and innovators. His Highness said the exhibition, which is held in London, included a number of unique and new innovations in various fields and successfully met its anticipated objectives of attracting interested establishments and investors. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good evening. Just before I start my speech, I have actually invented something. And if I show you my invention, I would win every prize over here. You want to see it? No, I'm just kidding. Not even in one million years. Well, I would like to begin by thanking Mr. Kane Kramer for this great initiative and by congratulating the British Inventor Society for the excellent work that it's done throughout the years. I would also like to congratulate the British Invention Show on its 14th anniversary. <laughs> the
This initiative honors creativity and imagination by providing an invaluable launching pad for the great ideas of today and making it possible for them to become the great invention of tomorrow. For an invention is only as valuable as its usefulness and availability. It is initiatives like these that drive the world forward and make this impossible, make the impossible possible. In a word, in a world that seeks to shine the brightest light on what divides us, be it borders or ideologies, it is important to look towards what unites us as human beings. I continue to have hope for a better tomorrow for our children and ourselves in a world where we celebrate in a world where we celebrate the power of a great idea and the potential of a creative mind. In this spirit, it is my honor to announce the birth of the world first embassy of invention in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Well, definitely, definitely in partnership with the British Inventor Society. This milestone stems for His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's goal to make the Kingdom of Bahrain the cradle of global innovation, where exciting ideas can be encouraged and seen to fruition in an institution that supports creativity and exploits human potential. This embassy will seek to create an environment of innovation by becoming a hub where inventors and innovators can come together and develop their ideas. Additionally, this institution will concentrate on supporting the youth and encouraging them on their journey of discovery. Inventors will have access to specialist support from designing to prototyping, commercial appraisal, and investment to name a few. The aim is to encourage a culture of innovation in the Kingdom of Bahrain that will serve as a global blue blueprint for years to come. Passion, creativity, and innovation pave the way for many possibilities. Thomas Edison once said, if we all did the things we are really capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. When Graham Bell, an inventor to whom we attribute communication, demonstrated the telephone, his invention, former US Pre President Hayes reportedly said, it's a great invention, but who would ever want to use that? <laughs> well, we all know the answer to this question. Thank you very much. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned and denounced the treacherous and cowardly terrorist acts that took place yesterday in Sinai, Egypt and left martyred, many martyred or wounded. In a statement issued by the Foreign Affairs Ministry today, the Kingdom affirmed its unwavering support to the Arab Republic of Egypt and backing of all the measures to be taken to combat terrorism and eradicate terrorist acts aimed at undermining the progress, success and development march witnessed by Egypt under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. It also lauded the patriotic and brave role of the Egyptian armed forces in safeguarding Egypt's security and stability. The Kingdom reiterated its firm stance in rejection of all forms of terrorism and acts of violence and sabotage, whatever the motives, urging concerted efforts to fight such heinous incidents and eradicate them resolutely. It also expressed its profound condolences to the Egyptian leadership, people and families of the victims, wishing the wounded speedy recovery. Thank you.